Hello, I remembered my YouTube password. This is part one of a short series I'll be doing on visual effects in Blender. Before we get into the fun stuff like building scenes and keying footage, we need to make sure our virtual camera matches our real one. Create a new motion tracking workspace and load in your footage. I recommend something simple like this shot to begin with. Open the track panel and click set scene frames and prefetch. I recommend working from the middle of the shot and tracking left and right from here. If your footage has a lot of motion blur, try increasing the search size option here. You'll also need to select a motion model. You can mouse over each option to get a brief description of what it's used for. The Affine model is quite popular and robust enough for a variety of tracking situations. Now we need to add some tracking markers. We can do this by holding control and clicking on a high contrast point in the scene. We can select the marker by clicking on it and move or scale it in the usual Blender fashion. Manually adding markers will most likely give you the best result. But if you want to expedite the process, click Detect Features. Open the operator menu and adjust the threshold and distance until you've got a screen full of markers. Blender only tracks selected markers, so make sure you select them all by hitting A. Now click track forward and let Blender do its thing. Head back to the middle point and track backwards. You can also click a different starting point in the timeline and click detect features again and repeat the tracking process. The goal is to get a mountain of data. Now let's try solving. First, we need two keyframes that have different perspectives but contain some of the same markers. This helps Blender figure out the camera movement. Alternatively, we can click keyframe and have Blender do it for us. Again, the automatic settings tend to get worse results, but they can be a lot faster. Click solve camera motion. Once finished, Blender will display a solve error up here. We want this number to be as low as possible, ideally less than one pixel. If we open the graph display, we can see some tracks go a bit crazy. You can also see this information by clicking clip display and checking the info checkbox. We can manually delete any offending markers, but once again, Blender has some options to do it automatically. Click clean tracks and type a reprojection error. Blender will automatically select any markers that have a higher error than what you type. Hit X to delete these and resolve. Okay, we've got our track locked in. Click set as background and set up tracking scene to add some geometry. Now we need to orient the camera. If you know the distance between two markers, type that distance here and click set scale. By default, it is set to one meter. Click three markers on the floor and click floor. If your scene wasn't able to detect any floor markers, you can add them manually with control clicking, then track them and resolve. If your scene has an obvious X or Y direction, click an appropriate marker and click the relative axis button. This will line Blender up with the selected axis. Now we can add some simple assets to our scene and test everything out. These people clearly get way too many Amazon deliveries. Up next, we'll be looking at keying without a green screen, followed by digital relighting without using switchlight. If you find this content valuable, Please like and subscribe so I know to make more. Thanks everyone, I hope you found the video helpful.